why should you buy information online when all the information is for free? Anything that you want to learn about, anything that you want to study on, you should be able to find that for free in great and graphic detail online. If you have a cell phone, you have the internet in your pocket. One of the things I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of research about this, is everything's on the internet, then why is the average American income so low? I want you to think about this. If you could learn on the internet everything that you need to know to have a healthier, better, wealthier life, wouldn't you be doing that? I know that I have. I'm gonna explain a few reasons why the information that is on the internet, which is free, will not help you in the manner that you think it will. Nope, it's not gonna happen. First, let's examine the people who make the free content. Why are they making free content? There are many people that want to have public acceptance for putting out some good information that is helpful. A lot of people do it, they put out information, they help people, it's a good intrinsic feeling. Now there's a problem with that. If you're putting out really good free information, the internet will devour you. The internet, people will be in your inbox, people will be on your YouTube channel, emailing you, they will bombard you. I've seen this happen several times where someone will come on YouTube or Facebook or start a blog and they're very, very helpful. Then it becomes a full-time job that they're doing for free. How long do you think that's going to keep up? Then, because they presented their stuff for free, then it's like, look, I'm gonna have to charge you. The internet revolts. They feel that this person should help them for free with no remuneration. And the person who's behind that, who just simply had this idea of, I just wanna help people, I just wanna put some good information out there, they become overwhelmed with people wanting them to continue to work for free. I've heard many YouTubers, I've heard many people say, look, you know, I can't answer all the emails. And these were folks who were just genuinely helping people. So what happens is, what started off as a helpful, interesting preoccupation now has become a chore that they must labor for for free. And then if they start to charge money, then they'll be get labeled to be one of those people. It's just your money grubber, man. You just in it for the money. You ain't in it for the people. Question, how many of you are going to work full time for free? Please raise your hand. Which now brings us to the second issue of why people have problems with free content. People inherently don't respect free content. I have nothing vested. I'll get to it when I get to it. So there is a healthy dose of disrespect for the free content, which means that many people don't take it seriously. I know from personal experience, I had a bunch of courses that I literally gave people for free. Interesting thing happened. 96% of the people did not crack open one course. Why? Because they didn't respect free. Why am I going to invest this time in this stuff when I ain't paying any money for it? That's just crazy. The third reason why everyone has access to the internet, everything's on the internet, most people have no learning discipline. Most people are poor students. So let's say you have the directions on how to give a webinar for free and how to pre-sell. Oh, actually that exists. Can't follow the directions, don't know how to study, don't know how to assemble information, therefore it's free it's valid because I found this piece, I'll even tell you where it is, it's Lewis Howes, it was on one of his blog posts about how to pre, it was a YouTube video, actually it was a YouTube video, how to sell online courses and pre-sell. Free information, I made money. I'm an excellent student. I'm a little smarter than the average bear and if that sound elitist, then so be it because it's a fact and there are many people who don't know how to study and this brings us to reason number four why information on the internet for free doesn't work for most people is some people have learning disabilities. This doesn't mean that you're stupid, doesn't mean you can't get it, it just means that you need a certain methodology to learn and watching someone on a YouTube video who 
is explaining it while eating bait, eating pizza, or not going deep or not covering everything, that may not be the best teacher for you. If question for those of you who can figure it out and don't need any help. Does Tom Brady have a coach? He actually does. Does a LeBron James have a coach? He did. Did Michael Jordan have a coach? Yes, he did. Did Michael Jackson have a coach? Yep. Every high achieving person, except for a precious few, have mentors and coaches. And these are multi-million dollar making people per year, except for Michael. Actually, Michael Jackson's estate still makes multiple millions of dollars, even though he's dead. All of these people had coaches. But because of you and your narcissism, like I can figure it out. And once again, let's look at the numbers. If all of these people are figuring out how to do this stuff with no help, no structure, then why are so many people poor? Call me cruel, call me the boogeyman. Man. But if all this information is online for free, where everyone with a cell phone can access it, why are so many people struggling? Why are so many people poor? Why are so many people having problems paying their mortgage, their car payments? Also, which brings me to another thing. There is tons of information online about how to handle your money for free. Here's another reason that free information online doesn't work for a lot of people. Who's the messenger? If I am the best makeup artist in the world, I can do what is a smoky eye, whatever that is, but I'm a dude and I'm overweight and I don't really have that look. And I can do a video dressing up girls. Do, a lot of you are just not going to pay attention, even though this guy could literally be the best in the world. But if you see some young, hot woman who's applying this makeup to herself and she looks really good after she does it, you're going to watch her. They're both of equal talent, but because the messenger is a girl that you can see yourself being or you can relate to her versus this fat guy who is equally good, he is, you like, hmm. And that's why most of the beauty bloggers are women, like 90 something percent. There's a few guys, but most of them are women because it's the messenger. So if I'm sitting here as Glendon Cameron giving you great financial information, but you don't like six foot tall black dudes or you don't like dudes who did the storage auction thing or, you know, I don't have a letters behind my name. You're not going to listen to me. It's just facts. You're not going to listen to me, even though the information is free, applicable, and will work for your life. We're going to get to another issue where people cannot take free, good information online and use it. The lack of time management skills. If you're that person who's always running out the door, who's always late, who's grabbing coffee and speeding to work, or you're that chick putting on your makeup while you're in the car on the way to work, you have poor time management skills. Learning something takes time management, and it's gonna come up to another reason, structure. When many people leave high school, which is structured, you go to this classroom, you do this, and then they go to college and they just throw a schedule at you, a lot of people struggle. And these are folks who were valedictorians, these were people who did really well in high school, but now they're in this bigger pond where it's like, you own your own. You must come up with your own structure. You must come up with your own study for times. You must come up with your study plan. And a lot of people just can't do it their first two years and they may have to take remedial classes or they may actually have to take a gap year because they don't know how to do this stuff. Once again, you're not stupid, but you don't know the methodology of taking information, assembling that information and putting it in a coherent manner. And this is a big one. You don't know how to study. Give you an example. When I was selling my book about storage auctions, I would tell people to go through the book five or six times. Why? Because when you are preoccupied, like say you're reading the book and then your kid starts screaming, you go check on the kid. Well, during that pause of the kid screaming, you fixing the kid, making the kid comfortable, you've lost your momentum and you've lost where you were studying. And if you don't start all over again, you're going to not retain important information which you need to be successful. This happens all the time. This is why, you know, like Starbucks or coffee shops, 
Some, well, some are very quiet because people get easily distracted. And for each distraction, you miss serious gaps in the information. So just to go ahead and put this out here for all the guys, all the people who are narcissistic, who feel they can do it by themselves, I will say this, where are your results? If you're not making the money that you want to make, if you're struggling, that is fundamental evidence that you can't do it by yourself. Because if you could, you would. Notice again, I didn't challenge anybody. I was just like, where's the evidence? Where's the receipts? Where is your lifestyle that reflects that the, you could assimilate this information from online into your personal life and be successful? Where are the results? Now, there's a few things that courses and mentors will do. First of all, you have all this information online. Teachers, mentors, courses, creators, assemble the information into a blueprint. That by itself is worth the price of any course because let's say you're a really smart cookie. You can figure stuff out, but it takes you three to four years to figure some stuff out, but you figured it out. Now, if you took a course or read a book or anything or had a teacher or mentor, that same information that you learn in three years, you learn in six months. Therefore, cutting off two years and 16 months off your learning curve. For a seasoned business person, it's worth it. But for someone who is caught up in themselves, man, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But once again, let's go back to the numbers. Let's go look at people. I got a link below to an income calculator that you can go in and plug your income and see where you stack up against most other people. And I'm going to tell you, half this country does not make 50K a year. And I'm going to tell you, if you knew how to study and assemble information, you could easily make 75 to 100K a year online for free. I put out information my storage auction information, my Craigslist information. If you were just to study that and nothing else and just work at it within a year, you could be making an extra 500 to $2,000 per month for free. Which brings me to another point. I don't want to do that, man. A lot of information out here and people want to do what they want to do. And I understand that it's kind of like, this girl or this dude who's a super nice person, but you're just not attracted to him. It just is what it is. But you still pull. You still pull. So unlike picking a person where you have endless options, if you pull, you need to pick something, even if you don't like it, get some money so you can level up. A lot of people don't want to do that. So that's just some of the reasons that there's so much information online that people cannot assimilate and functionally use. And another thing, who to trust. You have all of these folks out here who are saying, hey, do this, do this, do this. Where are the receipts? I've shown you my cars, which are paid for. I've shown you my house, which is not paid for. I've shown you the multi-million dollar neighborhood that I live in. I've shown you credit card receipts where I'm making $11,000 payments on my credit cards. I've shown you plenty of receipts, but once again, getting into that messenger thing, that someone who will not show you receipts, but because they have the look and the charisma, you'll trust that person more than you'll trust me. It's kind of ridiculous when you say it out loud, but it's true. We're getting ready to do a lot of training. And this video is a warm up to things you're going to have to do. It's not going to be easy. It's just not. Let's just keep it clear. Let's be on it. For you to transcend class levels, you're going to have to put in strategic hard work. Once again, that is strategic hard work. And it's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. It's going to take a few years. I'm warming you up with this and opening your mind to this because, once again, looking at the results, looking at people's incomes, if all of this information online was free and valid, why are so many people poor? Please answer that question in the comments, please. Because I've heard a lot of stuff and I've heard a lot of noise. But until you can show me that, once again, you can chart my journey. You're going to take a long time, but you can go through my YouTube channel and see 
the gradual progression. You can see that. How many other folks can you say that about? You could do it for Grant Cardone. You could see where he was. But there's a lot of bigger YouTube channels that only existed for two, maybe three years. And some people bring receipts and results, but a lot of them don't. But once again, you trust these channels and you watch these channels because this is another big issue with free. Because you're watching these channels and you're learning, you think that takes the place of getting results. It doesn't. We're in the midst of a pre-recession. Like almost 4,000 stores are slated to close. And people are saying, hey, everyone's going online. Well, I want you to do, this is a little research project for you. I want you to go to Amazon.com and see what their percentage is of all sales. Seriously, do it. And you will kind of say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That can't be right. Amazon is not absorbing all of these sales. Where's the money going? What's happening? What's, what's going on? Once you get into research, once you start looking at things in the proper context, a lot of this stuff becomes very clear. Below, I am reopening up Hustlers Kung Fu Redux, or H Undergrad. It's a collection of 23 courses. All of the courses are there, and each month, one will be released, and you get to pay per month. I'm going to do it at $50 per month. So that should be, I don't know how many months, maybe a year or two. I don't know, but the link will be below, and each month, you can learn a new course. And, and this is the thing, and this is why I did this. Do not rush through the course, then go to the next course, then go to the next course, do the next course. That is not effective learning. What I want you to do is to listen to the course 10 times. Each time you listen to it, and that's why these courses are audio, and this is why they're video, to make it easy to assimilate, you're going to pick up something that you missed the first time, and the third time you're going to pick up something you missed the second time. At this point, then you can get that education that you need to start making money. You will have all the courses and they will be there on a pre-drip basis, meaning that this month being the boss will drip, then next month the next course will drip, so on and so forth. That's the link below. You can get on it. You can get in. If that is too much for you, and for some people it may be, I have the Side Hustle Starter Pack. It's 147 this is something, and once again, and I want you to hear me, if you're serious and you go ahead and get that, you can make what you paid back the first month easily. So it's not an issue of price. It's an issue of effort, hustle, and discipline. That's an issue. I can bring you the information, but I can't make you do it. And then for those of you who want something a little bit more, more stuff is coming, but that's all I'm going to drop for this video. So with that, I'll see you guys soon, and I, I got some nice groovy music at the end, just saying. Mm -hmm.